And again, in this position, the most clinical move, can you spot the most clinical move in this position? Uh, five seconds. Okay, you might have guessed it, F7, just F7, yes, it's the continual theme, just queening this pawn, um, let black run out of checks. I've just realised actually that F7 isn't so simple, um, if you had guessed it, you, you should really factor in this check here. The point of F7 being so crushing is that uh, King C3, Queen takes F7, and can you spot the killer move before you just lost that F pawn to the check? I'll give you five seconds from here. Okay, the killer move knight c5, and all of a sudden black king safety is being put into question here. So that, that f pawn just being used as a pawn sack. Um, and if, here, if black tries to defend, it's still a uh, force mate in eight, apparently. Uh, so this would be like a force mate. Check. Check. Kick. The rook comes across. And it's all over Queen Queen as poses, that's just desperate. So basically, yeah, that this F seven will be quite um crushing here, but for the reason of knight C five. So I hope uh um that's quite instructive there that point. So um I played uh knight d four instead because I was also attracted with this idea of knight c six check. Um, he plays check, I play king c3, check, play king b4. My king's going into a walk, for a walk into his position now. I'm um, hoping I'm not getting mated with a combination of c5 check, takes and queen a3. So I was having a quick look at that. But I thought my king is going to get near his king in this kind of variation. If he dares to like, play rook c8 here, then king b6. And all of a sudden, you know, he, he's faced with um, menacing threats. Say queen d5. And apparently, it's a, a mate in six here. So, so my king is actually an attacking unit now in this position. But he didn't play c5 check. He played king a7. And I thought I'd just just win his rook here because I couldn't really see, um, you know, the danger of his checks. Um, so I was plotting actually at this position knight c c c6 check and knight e7 just to win g8. But first, I didn't want any c5s. So um, I stopped c5 by actually playing king c5. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, it's looking to be an entertaining position. Um, apparently the best move is queen a3, but um, it's pretty harmless here, because uh, rook b4, then, um, then, then black's had it, so, say like this. Now e6, there's no real checks black has. So basically what he played was queen g1, and now I find finally a Ribka move dead on. First choice Ribka move. Can can you find it? Give you five seconds. Well, right, depth ten anyway. I don't, I don't know about other depths. Okay, Rook G two. So evicting the Queen in order to play Knight C six check. So Queen C one. And now, believe it or not, there's a mate in five. So if you want to practice your tactical ability, can you work out from this position the forced mate in five? I missed it myself. I just thought, well, why can't I just win the rook Cause, and just escape the checks? That was my thoughts. Mind you, I only had about um, um, 12 minutes now. So it was a sort of practical decision. As long as I wasn't getting mated, I wasn't too concerned if I could just win his rook. Anyway, the start of the mate in five is check. I'll give you a head start. But here, can you find the right clinical continuation for the mate in four? I'll give you five seconds to find the next move. Okay, knight d8 check. So apparently this check. And now, can you find a killer move here? Okay, e6 to king 8 Can you find the mating one? Well, there's several mating ones here. Any knight move, knight b7, knight c6, or knight f7, are all mate in one. Because these pawns are now acting as a wall to stop the black king coming out. So knight c6, pardon me, mate. No, I, I prolonged it a little bit with this practical decision. I, I played check, knight e7 check, and discover check from the queen. The king moves, took on g8. I just thought I wasn't getting mated with this queen a3, which he played. 
King C6. Now he plays the last roll of the dice. And also mentioning that if he had um, his rook, it would have been mating. Or if maybe this pawn hasn't been there, queen d6 would have been mate. But, you know, you've got to play the, the position. In this position, there's no mate. So the king is safe on c6. He plays queen f8. And there is a threat here of queen a8 skewering my king queen. I've got to be a little bit, little, little bit um, careful. So I check him, drive the king back, so there's no queen a8 resource. And here, um, I find Ribka first move choice. I wonder if you can spot it. Just snuff out Black's counterplay now. I'll give you five seconds. Okay, I just play Queen D7. Don't mind about the knight. Um, he resigned here. Let's see if Queen takes, then check and believe it or not, the Queen and King coordinate for the checkmate. So he'd had enough after Queen D7. There's no more um, spike checks or nothing to. Be concerned about here. Even I can't lose this position after Queen D7, I think. <laughs> so um, I hope you enjoyed that. Let's have a quick whiz through uh, the game, and you might want to use this gambit um, against the French defence. So as if you're going to play the, the main line winner, but instead of Black playing Bishop B4, they're playing Knight F6, the classical, which is also what I'm currently playing. And um, Bishop G5 is very popular, it seems, at the moment. So. Um, Black can either play d e four or this well there's various uh, systems, but this alakine chatard chatard I, it's a French pronunciation, and i I'm definitely pronouncing it wrong, so um someone please tell me how to pronounce it after I should have looked it up on wiki I know but um h four and um basically yeah this this gambit had something you know it did have something even though you know computers don't like it maybe you know in practical over the board chess there's a little bit of king side pressure here and you know this pawn chain you know i've just had good results with it all season if you, if you like playing you know f4 f5 i think you know it's nice it's simple to play and um it turned into a bit of um you know a menacing avalanche here on the king side of course he 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 played inaccurately but um that's the nature of over the board chess so I got this quite aggressive knight on g7, eyeing that e6 pawn. And now there's the combination after knight c4, just taking on c4, and rook takes d7. So black really just had a lost position now. But, um, you know, I, I should have uh, just played rook g2 here, just, just to really accelerate f7 and, and resignation from the opponent. But instead I was a bit distracted just trying to mate him. But mating, you know, trying to mate is not always the most efficient um, method. Tempting, how, however, it, it was. Um, so rook b2. And, um, you know, you got this check in and now b5. So I, I made some work of the position. The king crawled up to c5. Ended up winning the rook on g8. Some more checks. Well, one check. And then finally I got things under control now before my queen is about to be skewered on diagonal by playing queen d4 so stopping that queen a8 from black and now the final move queen d7 i hope you enjoyed that i certainly did it was a very entertaining game um please leave any comments on youtube thanks very much